Hey guys, what you're looking at right here is a Cherry Mobile M1. It is the new flagship smartphone from Cherry Mobile and it's running a Helio X20 SoC from MediaTek. We're just going to do a quick unboxing and a quick hands-on right now. So let's check it out. So the Cherry Mobile M1 comes in this pure black box with this metallic logo right here that says M1. It's very simple, very minimal. And over here, you can see that it has um, two IMEIs, which means it takes in two SIM cards. And we have the white model. At the back, you have this, again, this nice metallic label that gives a quick preview on the features of the M1. So you can see here that it has an Android 6, it runs on Android 6.0, Marshmallow, has a 5.5 inch IPS display panel that runs full HD. That's 120 by 1080 pixels. It, has a, it is protected by a Sahi glass, which is somewhat scratch resistant. It runs on the Helio X20 processor, which is the highest, the top of the line processor from MediaTek. And it's a Deca core processor, although it has three clusters. You have four, four clusters for the first cluster and four more for the medium, medium powered cluster. And two cores for the high power cluster. The model that we have right here has four gigabyte, four gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigs of ROM. Um, it is non-expandable. It has 21 megapixels of uh, rear facing camera with face detection autofocus, PDAF. Front facing camera or the selfie camera is eight megapixels and it supports the latest and the greatest um, Wi-Fi available out there, which is uh, 802.11n. And the SIM slot is a nano SIM slot. It has a huge battery, a 3,000 milliamp hour battery. So um, here it also says that it, it has a Sony IMX230 sensor, and that's a very good sensor. It comes from Sony. It has built-in optical... Uh, it has built-in OIS, which is an optical image stabilization that's hardware-based feature. It has dual LED flash, fast autofocus, 0.2 seconds. Again, face detection autofocus. Um, it also has NFC. Um, what else? It has a fingerprint scanner, USB Type-C port that supports quick charging. And uh, what else? Let's take a look. Okay, at the top, you have the Cherry Mobile logo. Okay, over here it says M1. Gonna turn that on. Okay. So let's open this box. So over here we have the white unit of the Cherry Mobile M1. It's already powered on. I tried installing a few apps earlier, and here I'm going to open CPU-Z. And as you can see, it's running in MediaTek 6797 SoC with 10 cores. OK. So the Helio X10 used the 28 nanometer process, and the maximum clock speed is at 2.3 gigahertz. Media, the GPU is a Mali T880 processor. Okay. We have some ads. So as you can see, it confirms the screen resolution is 120 by 1080 pixels. It has a screen density of, uh, well, it should be 400 PPI. Total, total memory is 4 gigs. Available. Storage is 24 gigs out of 32 gigs. Okay, we're running Android 6.0 Marshmallow. Okay, we have the 3000 milliamp hour battery. We have a full list of, okay, uh, we have the list of sensors here. Okay. Then let's check IDA 64. 
Okay, same info same information. Okay, we also did some benchmarks earlier today. I'm gonna show you the results. So here you can see that we're running uh, Okay, these are just some information. So here you can see more information about the Cherry Mobile M1. Twenty one well, twenty one megapixel camera. We have our results from earlier today. We managed to hit 92,767 points in Antutu. You have fairly decent scores for this product. As for rankings, that should place the M1 at around top 10. It's at the ninth position as far as the available devices are concerned. So here at the top, you can see that we have the front-facing camera with LED flash, and it also has a speaker, holds for speakers here over here at the top. And if you look down below, you also have another um, another set of holes for the speaker. So this, this, the, this, product actually has you know dual channel stereo speakers and you can use it like this and the nice thing about the M1 is that the speakers are placed at the front so it you know even if you leave it at the table top like this it's it's not going to muffle the sound unlike other phones that have speakers placed at the front or at the bottom you know the the sound is going to go hit you directly in your face so that's pretty good and the fact that it has two two set two channel speaker is also good. So that means you get you know the actual stereo sound coming from your phone. At the bottom, you have a set of on-screen buttons, so it occupies a bit of real estate. This is the 5.5 inch screen. It's supposed to be. Scratch resistant, you have a side glass protection at the top of the panel. It's all plastic. It feels tight and solid because you can't really remove the back cover, so that's good. You know, there's you know the back cover is fixed. Here at the bottom you have the USB type C port which supports quick charging and the microphone. At the right, you have the volume rocker and the power button. Okay, power button is easily accessible from here. Okay. Here at the top, you have the 3.5 millimeter headset port. At the left side, you can see that the SIM tray has to be accessed using a tool. So we'll take a look at that a little later. At the back, you have the 21, mix, 21 megapixel camera with dual LED flash. Also, here you have the fingerprint scanner. But let's take a look at the rest of the box. So here we have the tool to remove the SIM tray. Let's try to open it.
Okay, so as you can see, the SIM tray takes in two nanosite SIM cards. You have SIM slot one and SIM slot two. Okay, let's put that back right in. Now inside we have a few more boxes. Here you add the headset. Okay, we have a white headset for the white model. A pretty standard headset with one button for accepting and dropping calls. Actually nice, you have uh, different boxes with the, the gold plated logo. So that kind of adds to the premium feel of the M1. So you have the USB Type-C uh, type cord or cable, okay, that supports quick charging. And here we have the plug. Okay, as you can see, it can output 12 volts. For that quick charging, okay. Next we have a user manual, actually it looks nice, it's glossy and it's colored. It's a very nice packaging for the flagship smartphone from Cherry Mobile. And this, I guess what looks like a, you know, some fancy information like daily downloads, riddles that you can subscribe to with Globe and Smart. You get electronic warranty if you register the device for 12 months. Of course, Cherry Play, which is Cherry Mobile's own platform to which you can download stuff, games, and other useful applications. So that's, I think that's everything we have in the box. So let's try out the camera. So like I said earlier, the M1 has a 21 megapixel camera with a face detection autofocus and dual LED flash. So we're using the vanilla or the stock camera app that comes with Android 6.0. Here are some of the options. We have anti-shake feature. That's probably software based. The Sony, the, the Sony, um, sensor that comes with the camera comes with built-in OIS. I'm not, I don't think you can turn that off, which is okay. Picture size, maximum 21 megapixels. Video recording. Okay, you can, it appears that you can record 4K videos, but I'm not sure what this means, 4K, 2K. You 
you have a noise reduction option. So the op the video and the photo options are pretty minimal, it's pretty bare, pretty standard that comes with the Android 6.0. Focusing is a little slow. Um, it takes a while for the 21 megapixel rear camera to focus on the subject. Macro focusing seems to be decent. You got the gesture activated shot, which I'm going to turn off. Okay. Let's try out the HDR option. Okay, HDR capture seems to be taking a while and it just crashed the camera. Okay, what's happened there? <laughs> Why did it die when we tried to capture an HDR photo? Okay. So let's take a look at the results. Okay, we have some nice photos. Um, good white balance from the M1. Okay, we were just told that the unit that we have right here is an engineering unit, so that might not actually reflect the performance of the final production device that's going to be available in the, when it hits the source. So, you know, do bear that in mind when we're doing this hands-on. Okay, now I'm trying to capture a 4K video, and I have the LED lighting turned on. Okay. Hello, this is a video test. So the front-facing loudspeakers are decent. Um, I expected it to be much louder. It's good enough, though, for playback. I like the white balance of the photos that we just captured. It's pretty accurate as far as I can see. It's close enough to what I'm seeing with my own eyes. Although the M1 comes with mostly the default applications that come with um, Android 6.0 Marshmallow, there are a few custom applications that come with Cherry Mobile, like with all the Cherry Mobile handsets. Here you have Bonus Load, Cherry Fun Club, Cherry Play, Cherry Prepaid, and uh, Electronic Warranty from Cherry Mobile. Oh, you also have Movie Club and Opera. Opera Mini. Um, this is mostly the default application set aside from the benchmarks that we installed. Okay, the M1 uses Chrome out of the box. You don't get the overlapping custom browser. It comes with, you know, other Android Android devices, but you do get an Opera Mini here, which is a, which is kind of redundant. Okay, so now I'm unlocking the device using my fingerprint. Okay, so you can see it's pretty fast. Takes about a split second 
for half a second to unlock the screen. Okay. And it is able to recognize my fingerprint, even if I rotate it a different way, as long as it's the same. It's a fingerprint that I've enrolled. Guys, that's it for our early hands-on and unboxing on the Cherry Mobile M1. Again, do take in mind, do keep in mind that this is an engineering unit that we have, and it might not reflect the performance of the production units that are gonna come out um, sometime over the next few months. Um, if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions, if there's anything you'd like to see, leave them at the comments box below. Do, do like this video if you found it helpful. If you didn't like it, you know, just go ahead and hit the thumbs down button. But do leave us a comment telling us why you didn't like it. Consider subscribing to our channel. Look out for the full review that's going to come out on our website. It's httpsdig.ph. Thank you for watching our video.